A very quiet Sunday night here at Home Depot, folks. Hello, everybody. I'm Jeff, and today we're going to... Uh, this will be a, a shorter one than normal because there's only a few things to show you. We're going to show you a lot of... Um, a lot of clearance items that were added in the last few days here at Home Depot. And some of these uh, newer, deeper, discounted clearance tool deals. And then they started a set up here for the OPE in the front. This used to be the Black Friday section right here, the tool zone. And so we're going to show you some of the new items they brought in, as well as clearance here and in the blinds and a few other places. And I have some scam warnings for you about those N95 masks that I want to show you while we're here. All right, so you know this they finally moved this display up front So I don't know if you folks have this at your store. Let me know if you've got them in we bought this on December 22nd and I just finished filming my tool review video of it and I'll be working on the next few days on that video So hopefully we'll have that loaded up soon for everybody and Shaka Gillis says good evening Jeff once more What does it say viewers arrive the truth will be told? <laughs> <clears throat> well, speaking of the truth Shaka we're gonna pass by your favorite color right here. Oh yes. So actually, they had that mil the uh, the Ryobi link over here about a week ago. They took it down, and they started to put up a, you know, a lot of these other guys here. So they've got this. Um, they're not saying how long it's gonna last on the battery, but I mean, 279 for an 18 volt, 16 inch. This is a smaller lawnmower. This is for somebody with a really small yard. You could probably still even do it with a medium sized yard. But it's going to take you longer if you do it you have that deal and then the other deal they're running here is the combo with the with the trimmer and the blower now what i want to know is how big is the blower it says on here 350 cfm so not too bad i prefer it to be a lot higher like in the high fours as my minimum if you really want performance and then here they've added this makita mower right here now look at this, so this is $4.99 on this Makia motor, but the mower here, but look at this, you get four five amp hour batteries here on this puppy. So that's a $200 value right there, so that's a pretty good score to get that, I think. The price on the mower though, I'd, I'd still like to see it lower. I think it could be lower, you just never know. And remember guys, if you're coming in here and you're buying stuff that's in the $500 range, you should be going online first to, uh, God, what was the name of that, that coupon place I used to uh, recommend on there all the time? And, and spend the 20 bucks or so and buy the 10% off Home Depot. It's an official Home Depot coupon that you download and print and bring it in here. But I figured that anything around 500 and above is when it, it helps, uh, when it pays off to, to buy that coupon. So if you're coming in here and buying a lawnmower and maybe other stuff, that's when you really want to look at getting that. <clears throat> now they did, let me see, did they get anything else? And they also have their own kit, which is $279. Okay, so that's $40 more than Ryobi. And here you got the blower and the trimmer and same thing. Hey, but you know what? I don't know that the Ryobi comes with a battery. It says combo kit. Usually with a kit you get a bat. Oh yeah, you do. So it was on there, see? Ryobi dropped the ball. They didn't show it on the ad there like Makita did here you see that you get the you got both of them there and Paul Copperwood says good evening Jeff what deals do you have tonight and Raul is that Raul Raul Jr. says hello um so so far none of these really look like they're uh, these this does seem kind of pricey here so I don't know um like I said if you can get a hold of a 10% off coupon and if your store is one that still takes those 10% off Lowe's coupons, by all means, come in and use it because you're going to save some cash. You guys saw my live stream the other night. I think I bought like 250 bucks worth of tools at that Home Depot, and a lot of those were clearance. They were all clearance, right? And I still used my 10% off Lowe's coupon there. They took it. So they got more of the 550 power cleaners. But you know what? If you're going to spend the money here, I would much rather see you get this one. This one is only useful to like wash a car and it's not a whole lot of juice in there and this won't run a soap cannon if you want to use a soap cannon on your car to give you that thick foam soap this one does and, and when i was shooting my review the other day um we we didn't we noticed it did a great job with it there and marie says jeff the electrical remodel boxes are wiped down in phoenix how's florida doing with this supply wow 
I don't know. We should see if we head over that way. Um, the other thing they brought in here uh, was that, I want to say that new Milwaukee, at least for this store anyway, the Milwaukee crown stapler. So they've got it here for 179 It's the M12. Okay. I'm still thinking you could probably get it lower. And if you guys pay attention on certain Mondays, sometimes Home Depot does those special buys of the day where they you buy like one of these type things and maybe they throw in the, uh, the electric ratchet, you know, those kind of deals where you buy one, get one free. That's, I think, when you can score a little bit better. Uh, because really, they're saying on these they're only getting $20 off. I don't really think that's... No. Eh. It doesn't make me want to stand up and go, yeah. Now here, the Ryobi vacuum, look at this. So we're down to 69 from 79. Last year, I think this dropped down to 49. And like, I think once it hits 59 and below is when everybody starts coming out of the woodwork and parachuting in to buy those things there. And I want to see if there's any discounts on the, the ladder here real quick before I head over to the other side to show you. There was a big deal on a Weber Genesis grill I'm going to show you. Holy cow. It was like a few hundred bucks off. So I don't see any yellow stickers. I thought that there were some here on some of these bigger ones, but maybe not, maybe not in this region anyway. Remember, we don't always see all deals in all regions. And then here's all we have left of the Ryobi, <clears throat> the Link, Let's see, at this store. We don't even have the strips that go on the wall, so you don't even have anything to hang these on. You see these slide down. They slide down on those strips on the wall. Okay, so none of them. And then I was walking by this guy, the uh, hatchet, which I have. I own this one, the M12 hatchet. And I don't remember it being 269 when we bought it, guys. Do you guys remember what it was when it first came out a year and a half ago? And this, let's see. Somebody's saying they don't see a clear feed right now. It should be getting a reasonably decent signal in here in this spot. Maybe in certain little tight nooks and crannies that I move into, you might not see it all that clear just because of the, the signal. All right, so so people keep asking me, okay, is there any Milwaukee nailer deals? And no, there really aren't. We had some on the special buys of the day a couple of weeks ago. You still have this one, the three and a half inch, 21 degrees at 199. Not like the best price in the world there and let's see yeah 249 is that what it was when it came out okay so it didn't go up in price i just thought for a reason maybe it went up on it and benjamin says do you have a review on the ryobi cross cut are you talking about the mower i did do a review last summer on their mower and i'm working i think i'm uh some of the video i've shot recently for the dewalt when i was doing some battery testing on the dewalt I think I did some comparisons with the Ryobi as well on that. I've got to go back and look through the footage before we upload it. Now here on the Rigid, they're still showing these here at about half price almost. So these, uh, that's that auto detailing kit and I like it because the hose on this kit is nicer than the regular standard hose that comes with the Rigid vacuums. And here you got $15 off the vac, right? Now, our store sold out of that big 16-gallon one that I showed you at the other Boca Raton Home Depot the other day. There, it was 99 I think, marked down to like 49 And I was surprised they still had it there because people were scooping those up left and right once I reported it. And now that the CDC gave us that notice the other day, you know, now they're starting to come in with all the Lysol stuff. But what I wanted to show you is this is the mask they're telling you to get. Okay. So it's the N95, and this is the one you want to get where it's round and molded. See how it molds to your face, and it has to have the two straps on it. And what you want to do to make sure you're getting one that's correct is you got to see that NIOSH on there, that NIOSH, whatever you want to call it. And hold on, let me get this straight here so you can see it. Usually on each mask or, or on the box, you'll see it printed on there that, it, that that's, they're accepted and rated and tested. That's how you know you're getting the correct one, all right? Now, if you're going to buy it for just going out in general public, don't get the ones that have the little vents on the front, which this doesn't have. This is what you want. So I'm going to actually scoop up one of these here now because I know they're kind of disappearing rapidly, and my wife wanted some. Um, is this the one that has the respirator on the front? No. I'm going to find out. Oh, this is the contour fit. 
One's the other. I'm going to uh, do some research on these two before I leave tonight and see which one I want to get. Okay, but just as a regular person, don't buy the one with the vent. Here is that Weber grill I was telling you about. This is a Genesis 2 and the 335 LP. And look at this price. Now, when I brought it up online, it shows up at the full price. There's your number, 1003-880-357, right? So 756 bucks, man. That's like over 300 bucks off on this puppy. And let me tell you, I've had a few uh, guys on our stream uh, in the past year that have told me they swear by these grills. They love them. They last a long time. So if you have a Weber Genesis at home, let me know. But yeah, they love their, their grill for sure, man. Look at that. And there's the number there for you. And yeah, face diapers, that's what I call them too. We don't need no stinking masks. Um, there was some, I saw a great deal on some Milwaukee masks that I'm gonna show you, because I'm gonna buy those for use with sanding, because they have the vent on the front of it. And those are great for when, you, when you're doing the sanding so you can breathe. I wanna see if they up the price of that rigid tabletop saw. Yeah, see this one. A lot of people didn't know it. At Black Friday, I think they had this thing down to like 99 bucks or something. They did it like a couple of years in a row, and um, they didn't make much fanfare of it this year because I think each store only got a few of them. But, but this is where you want to come look and still see if you have it at that price. Look at the clearance rack, 15% off today. Yeah, we're going to be uh, heading over to that clearance rack in just a second because I wanted to show you uh, this aisle and the next one. And by the way, guys, great news, and I do mean great news. My new, my brand new gimbal is arriving tomorrow. So hopefully we won't have any more shaking video. I'm just praying to God I did so much research on these stupid things and they better give me one that doesn't doesn't shake. All right, uh, or can't handle, hang on, look at this. Don't you hate it when this happens? You're trying to get through Home Depot and you got one little thing that sticks out like a quarter of an inch too far and it just snags you and it keeps you from going. Okay, so as we go into the blinds aisle here, I want you to look at these. These are like their cheaper ones, but I, I put a lot of these in for friends and I put them in my flips. But you can see a lot of these as you come down the aisle here and look, you're looking at about 50% off. And in this store, I couldn't find the motorized ones. I'm gonna see if we have any here. Cause a few people had commented to me this week that the motorized ones were like deeply discounted. And I mean deep. Some, some couple of ladies were telling me they, they found $200 motorized ones that were like $70, $80, you know, one third the price. And I don't see them here. We're just taking a quick glance and this is the only aisle where that's, you know, the blinds and stuff are on. So I'm not seeing them here. Uh, so let's take a look down here. And uh, when you check over on the, the uh, tile aisle, there's a whole bunch of tiles that have yellow stickers that they've marked them down as well. Let me see, anything here in the appliance? Was there anything down the lighting? I don't think there was anything. Um, don't always fall for when you see these big displays with the big green signs, because that's just the regular price. There's no, unless you see something that looks like this you know, where it's dropped down like that, or this one here, see? The LED linear light, that's this light here. I think I've showed you this before a few weeks ago. That's how you know that you're really getting a deal. And Tammy says, finally I get notified. All right. Yeah, we, we have that problem a lot, and a lot of other uh, channels have that problem too. I don't know why. I don't know if it's something that YouTube does on purpose. Maybe they just decide which of your subscribers they want to send the alerts out to. Maybe they send it out to the ones that respond the most and maybe watch them. I, I just don't know. I mean, you can't even begin to figure out their algorithm, how crazy it is. Okay, so we're coming up on the clearance. And so look at this. So they got some really cheap vanities in. And so if you're just, you know, if you're like a slumlord and you want to throw some cheap ones in, that's where you, where you go. They're not gonna be good in quality, but, you know, 
if you don't want to spend a whole lot of money. And here's something new that's coming up. We don't know what this is. It says hold for 131. There's your part numbers there. I don't know what those are. And it, is that Ariel that was asking? Is there... Oh, and says, is there any giveaway today? No, we're going to do one, I think, next Sunday. We're going to kick it off. We'll kick off the next tool giveaway for January. This is that Husky table I showed you last week, 124 bucks. They got a boatload of them here. They have this DeWalt rack. Now here it's 229, but I just took delivery of mine from Ace Hardware. I ordered it online from Ace Hardware. I'll put the link to that maybe when I get home tonight. And I went and picked it up at Ace Hardware. So 60 bucks cheaper for this rack right here at Ace Hardware. And let me tell you, this thing is heavy. It was a nightmare for me to get that out of the car myself. Okay. There's my favorite background music. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you. Thank you. So I saw this here. I came in earlier and I go, man, I got to... Because I have the laser. I have this cross uh, laser. But I think mine comes with a bracket. But I don't know if it's as extensive as this one. I just don't know. And they don't say if this works on a tripod. And this is full price. So I don't know why they have it as a yellow sticker on clearance at, at full price, you know. And Ann says, Jeff, thanks for that. I don't know how you can read and keep... Yeah, sometimes it is hard, you know, to... That, what's really strange is these the letters that they put on the screen here when you guys are chatting it's like really tiny sometimes it's hard to read and it's like grayish letters on a black background it's like oh come on could you make it any any harder for us to read they got these now these are that's a joke it's really only down like two bucks but i went into the boca store because boca has the this is now is this milwaukee is this milwaukee yeah it is the Boca store has the one that comes in the red cardboard box, little square box with it open so you can see the helmet. And it has the LED light on it. And theirs was marked down to like, I don't know, like in the 40s or something like that a few months ago. And I should have grabbed that. I didn't when I was up there. And I should have grabbed it because that was a good price, I think. Um, these here, uh, this is that Makita, uh, the, the 16 gauge, two and a half inch nailer. So they've dropped it down to 136, and it was like 159 before, and it says was 169. Um, I don't remember how much, I don't know if that was the original original retail price on it or not, but so the, it, they've got it down to 136 now. And if you look, let me zoom in real close there for you. See, December 7th is when they lowered the price. Let's see. So they have that. The Toro, uh, that's that, the blower, that the 60 volt blower, that's still at 129. They haven't lowered that yet. Now over here on this side, this is one, couple of items here have me, have my interest peaked. Because look at this, so you get this Milwaukee, <clears throat> this saw, this is a corded saw. Uh, seven and a quarter inch. And it's pretty much at about half price. 15 amp. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Is this worth it? You guys think that's worth the price? I gotta let somebody buy here, hang on. So, oh, check it out. I was just talking about the link and I just walk around the corner here and here it is, look at this. They brought some new boxes in. Those are the strips that I said was missing because you need these on the wall to hang all of those green Ryobi boxes on there. And I think I saw a super chat might've popped up, let me see. There it is. And guess who it's from? Our good friend Shaka Gillis. And he says, wait a minute, are you saying these are trash? Shaka, I'm shocked. You haven't even bought one of those yet. Who knows, it could be your favorite garage tool ever. You just never know. All right, so anyway, what do you guys think about this? Should I get this one? I don't know. It's not that heavy, but you know, I've spent like a thousand, maybe more than a thousand bucks on tools in the last week, you know? for the tool giveaways and I'm like tapped. I don't even have enough money to, I have to pay quarterly taxes like next, in a couple of days and I don't even have the money for it. Here's a DCB 102 that's down to 80 bucks from 99. Does two at the same time, but will it, will it charge them both at the same time or is it serial? That's what I don't know. It doesn't really say. And there's something about USB on here too, so. 
kind of neat. I mean, if you just want to leave a bunch of batteries charging overnight, this would be a good thing. But I don't know. What do you, get? you guys know anything about this one, the DCB-102? Let us know down below. And let's see. Tammy says uh, the Home Depot, a two-pack of 6-amp-hour batteries for 150 I would score that. I mean, if you could find that, I would get that in a heartbeat because the 5-amp-hour alone is like 159 or 149 when it's not on sale. Um, here's here's an interesting one. So is this? I'm gonna make sure this is the right one. No, that's not the. I don't know what the price is on this one. There was uh, normally like the kitchen faucets like these, they go for around twenty, uh, not, about about two hundred here, but at, at Costco they go for about one seventy nine, and I usually tell people to wait till they're down to one forty nine. They don't have a price on this one, so I don't know. They got this. Oh, the Ryobi. They had a Ryobi nailer that was here, but somebody must have bought it already. And they probably had a few if they had the sticker here for it. So that's pretty much it, what they have there. Um, I'm going to show you something interesting they got here. They just got in this new... I think they had this last year, too. This is that weatherboard. Yeah, you see that? So you, what you do is you get these boards... And you mount them on, let me see if I can flip this around here. It makes like a kind of a design wall here on your on your living room. Okay, so let's see if they got anything else there. Not a nothing else there. We're gonna head back down this way. Oh, and by the way, just a reminder, they still have these are good, I think, until the end of the month. Let me make sure. Yeah, until uh, January 30th. So here they have a 921. That's the half-inch one, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Or is this... It should be. Yeah, this is the half-inch one. So if you buy this right now for $199, you will get a free 5-amp-hour battery. And, you know, Tammy, just like I said a minute ago, see, look. 159 is what they're charging for the 5 amp hour battery by itself. So if you saw a 2 pack of 6 amp hours, man, get us that kit number and post it and let us know and we'll see if they have it here anywhere. And then also if you guys didn't see our video from the other night where I showed you inside Lowe's how to find and score that unbelievable deal with the 2 tool combo kit with the, uh, the Craftsman circular saw and the drill. That's that kit that was $149, and they had it down to $40. And our store here in Coral Springs sold out of it, and I found it in the Boca store, and the Boca store manager, he matched it for me. Now, there's a kit I want you guys to look for. They don't have it here in our store, and as far as I can tell, it's not even in our region. But a number of you told me this week, I forget which model, but it was one of these DeWalt impact wrenches, right? That there was a kit with the wrench and the four amp hour battery and the charger and i think the bag and it was marked down to like 80 bucks it was a clearance so you're not going to find it online you have to just go into the store and look for it and that's what i did i came in here we didn't have it so i gave up blah 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 no big deal all right so like we always say your mileage may vary now in terms of that scam that I wanted to let you guys know about. And by the way, I, fuck, I don't think I showed you this at the Boca store the other day. Uh, maybe I did, but anyway, if you missed it, here's the Rigid, $49 for this one, 18 volt. It says fastest tire fill from flat to full. So you just have to have batteries already. And then they had this last year too here, the, the, the two tool combo kit, the 16 gauge, the straight finish nailer and the Brad nailer. And that's 169. Now I'm gonna take you into where's that personal safety stuff here? Oh yeah. So here's the one I, I was gonna tell you about to buy. If you guys do any kind of sanding, is this one right here? So you got the Milwaukee one. There's 10 pack in here, and it's vented. See, that's the one I told you. Don't walk around out in public with these. Use these only when you're sanding, so you can breathe out through them, but you're not gonna send your spittle out to people, right? So let me show you the price on these. So these are down to $690. Right? So I like that. This is great because normally I've paid a lot more for that. I mean, look, 
Look at this. If you buy a three pack here, it's normally $9.97. So that was a pretty good deal to score this thing at this price here. Now, I don't think Home Depot sells them here, but do not buy, in my opinion, I'm telling you, don't buy the ones that say KN95 because the KN95s are Chinese ones. Now, these may or may not be from Chinese, but the Chinese ones don't conform or don't, they're not rated by NIOSH. So if you see anybody online like Amazon or whatever advertising K95s that say NIOSH rated, they're lying. It's an out and out lie and scam, total fraud. Because NIOSH does not rank, they don't rank any of the Japanese versions. Okay, so just you're just better off, folks, not even thinking about buying a KN95. If you want to buy an N95, you buy one that just says N95. Look for the NIOSH. That's all you got to do. Game over. You win. All right. So anyway, I think I think that's all we've got for tonight. I didn't see anything else, any other deals, and any other new stuff. Uh, I did want to show you. Hang on. We got this again. I can't escape it. I can't. Beep, 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 beep. All right. Here's the Milwaukee OPE. I did want to get over here and show you these. So... This is the M18 Quick Lock. These are the fuel, so these are brushless. But gosh, man, look at that price. Holy cow. $439. Not a discount. I can tell you that right now. Um, let me see. Does it show what the CFM is? Let me see. On the blower. Well, the blower is 450 CFM, so it's certainly the most powerful of all of the ones up here on this wall without going and buying like the highest end one you can get your hands on okay and then they don't have the price on this one yet but this is the m18 just the string trimmer kit so it's the string trimmer by itself with the m18 battery and a charger okay no price on that one yet unless they have one let me see if they got one here i don't think that's that's not the same one they have a different m18 fuel kit here um this one is there's your kit number right there on it that one's 2.99 and you can get the blower by itself and let me see if this is also the 450 or not yeah this is 450 cfm the blower by itself is 169 and then here is the, <clears throat> oh, this is much cheaper priced than that uh, DeWalt one. This is the uh, the M18. Now, let me see how big this chain, this hedge trimmer is. Uh, doesn't say, I don't see it unless I'm, I'm just blind here. But here, here's the number for it. It's 179. I showed you that one in Lowe's that was the flex bolt version of the dewalt and that one was like uh like 249 or 279 or something like that i thought it was pretty overpriced but man okay so that's that and nothing on the ryobi batteries i'm trying to score a few more batteries but they just haven't dropped the prices on them all right it's 22 inches eric all right good and jk says why don't you talk about tools like this channel was intended for what do you mean? We are talking about tools. What's up with that? What's up with that? I don't know if these are still at the $9.99 price or not, because we still have a bunch left. All right. But that's all we have for here. I'm going to take a quick ride over to Lowe's on my way home, and I'm going to see if they've got any more clearance deals, because every time I go in, every day, guys, the prices are going boom, 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 dropping like crazy. So anyway, I gave you the, the quick roundabout here tonight and showed you what you should be looking for right now from Home Depot. And if you have any questions that didn't get answered, leave them in the comments below, and I'll get to them when I get home. And thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. And I'll leave you with these even cheaper, cool little tool deals here from Shaka's favorite company right here. He has stock, major stock in that. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one.